Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to be checking out something called The Puzzle Guardian. This is a first person adventure slash puzzle exploration style game done by students at the Vancouver Film School. And it looks like we're going to be exploring a world where everything is made up entirely of jigsaw pieces. I've only played about a minute or so of this one, but I must say the presentation is quite charming and seems to have pretty high production values. So I wanted to definitely highlight this one and have a good look at it if we could. Uh, so why don't we just jump right into things. Uh, we'll hit play and there will be some instructions that will flash very quickly uh, thankfully all that really told you there is WASD to move and shift to run everything beyond that unfortunately uh, well we wouldn't have had time to read but so we're presented with an alleyway of sorts and it looks like we've got well literally everything in every direction is made out of puzzle pieces with the exception of the actual literal sky although there are actually uh, well there's a cloud in the shape of a jigsaw piece up there too uh, so it seems as if what we're looking at beyond this alleyway is actually represented in this picture right here. And in fact, if you stand in the right spot, it even mostly lines up. Uh, well, it's a little bit off, but you know, it's close enough. Uh, so we want to fill in this space right here, and I guess sort of uh, true to the idea of braid or something, things will kind of come to life around us if we manage to uh, take care of that little problem. And I should mention, for those of you who are curious, uh, yes, you can jump up on the boxes, and yes, you can even go in the dumpster, uh, but basically, dumpster diving in this game could be a death sentence. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if there's, like, a way to reset, but I actually ended up getting stuck there during a sound check, so probably don't go in there. Also, probably don't go near this corner of the boxes, because it seems really easy to get stuck in the geometry in this one. Uh, so just a little bit of forewarning, because I know that that can be a problem at times. Uh, also, this game does seem to happen to suffer from the oldest of Unity game issues that I seem to speak of on a regular basis, which is that it doesn't seem to capture the mouse cursor. So, in the event that I accidentally click away from this and then cause myself some undue grief, well, that's why. Just wanted to say, also seems to uh, kind of lose the uh, frame rate a little bit depending on where you're looking, so I've had to capture this one at 30 frames per second to get a consistent frame rate out of it. So anyway... That's all the negatives out of the way for the most part. Now, we're presented with this big, open, uh, beautiful-looking little community made up of all kinds of puzzle piece areas and things we can go exploring. Cars made out of puzzle pieces, trees made out of puzzle pieces, seagulls made out of puzzle pieces. And that one seems to happen to be carrying a little widget that I, I'd like to grab if possible. Uh, oh, or can I? Is it just a little too high? I tried to jump into it, but I don't know if I can get enough distance. Right, right there. Really? That's... Still too high, huh? Can I jump off of this garbage can, perhaps? Come on, let's loop back around. I think I can do this. Is channeling a little bit of, like, that Ratchet and Clank, Banjo-Kazooie type feeling? Really, I totally smacked into that bird, and it did not drop whatever it was holding. Seriously, the even the sewer grate seems to be emitting steam shaped in the shape of Jigsaw Puzzle pieces, which is pretty wild. Alright, so let's look around and see if there's actually a challenge here for us, or if it's just going to be about collecting objects for now. Uh, so far, this all seems pretty, but let's see where the depth lies. I guess we'll just follow the, uh, <laughs> the trail here. Well, that's what I would like to do, but unfortunately my compulsion pulls me in another direction. What are you? Okay, we got a box on a stick, it looks like. Good to know. Uh, these walls seem to be jigsaw pieced off. I really want to get whatever this bird is holding. Well, I think it's just another one of these uh, MacGuffins, but, you know, we'll figure it out. Eventually, I'm sure I'll be able to talk. Oh, you're terrifying. What's up with your face? Those jigsaw edges and then, like, the weird head cutout is really funny, actually. Uh, so we've got a lovely puzzle piece shaped table. Some chairs with some <laughs> questionable texture scaling going on on the top, but I don't mean to talk so derisively about the game. I'm just sort of picking on it a little bit because there's just little little things that are cropping up left and right. But all right, so we can go down this step area, and we've got a character in the shape of puzzle pieces as well. It looks like uh, we've got some hazards ahead. It looks like can't go around to go over it. Press space to climb vines. That's good to know. Uh, you can't swim, hop across lily pads to cross water. I'll do my best. Uh, music is sounding very epic, I must say. It goes well with the warm color palette that we seem to be experiencing here. Uh, I think you can just kind of intuitively know that you go up that without that sign even being there, actually. Well, I don't think I noticed that uh, before when I was running about here for a second. So let's see. Oh, what are you? A whole little s collection of figures. Oh, maybe that was a secret. Okay. Well, I've collected it. Whatever this is, it's quite pretty. You get a nice framing shot here. Do we have a 
a good angle to look at. I love that it's got to have the supporting structure too. Oh, the sun is made up of a puzzle piece. I don't think I've hardly ever seen a puzzle piece shaped like that, actually. It's a rare puzzle that can support that kind of geometry. Alright, so we've gone up and over. Land on the park bench. Can we open this? No, the fence is just permanently locked. What's up with this? Can we find... We probably need to find, like... A way to open this by finding a puzzle piece that's got a handle on it, something like that. Okay, I could see where there could be some interesting presentation things going on here. We've got a surface of the water that seems to be also made up of puzzle pieces. This is just basically me narrating all of the things in this area that are made up of puzzle pieces, as if you needed me to do that. Even the rocks, huh? I wonder if it would have been more effective visually to go for, like, you know, shapes that even if they don't look organic or look correct, still sort of stick with the theme. Also, what's up with this? I don't think I can walk over water. I think they said I needed to jump over lily pads, right? So, well, I guess let's take this. And we can figure that out later. Maybe there's a tool I'll get. Maybe I'll get, like, ninja, uh, some kind of water walking shoes to support that dream of crossing this raging river. What's going on down there? There's, like, a painting or something in the water. I don't know what that's all about. Well, let's go place this handle here on this little door. Alright, we've got an actual... Oh, grass! Place a grass piece on top of water to create lily pads. Play, uh, plant grass and dirt to grow vines. Good to know. Alright, so I guess I get a puzzle gun. Interesting. Well, now I know how I'm gonna get these. Let's uh, plant some lily pads here. Do I get all of these that I want, or is there like a limitation, I wonder? Make a very firm... Uh, bridge across here now. I think I don't need to really worry so much. Also, not sure what's up with the aspect ratio on this. It's supposed to be in 1280 by 720, but there's actually black bars on the top and bottom uh, for whatever reason, so... Alright, we've crossed that. Oh, it looks like maybe they disappear. Oh, look at that cute fish! It's like a little puzzle piece shaped clownfish in the water. Or something. Can't really get a good look at it, unfortunately. There's so much stuff under there. Uh, surprisingly, uh, good attention to detail, I must say. Now I can plant vines to climb over one of these fences, but I think what I'd rather do is head over in this direction. Kind of crazy Magikarp koi fish going on over here. It's a little little nerve nerve rattling. I don't know if there's actually danger in this game or not. What are you holding? You have like a giant coin underneath you? Are you a, a koi with a coin? A coin? You get it. Are you gonna hand that over or do I need to like... Alright, I don't think you're gonna hand that over. Let's... Oh no! I've fallen in the water, I can't swim! Oh, what's to become of me? Alright, I guess we're okay. Let's, uh, drop one of these in this fountain. Does this work? No. <laughs> guess the water's not deep enough. Just looks like I'm throwing a bunch of cardboard into a fountain because I'm a big jerk. Alright, let's try that again. Maybe not get so caught up with this whole, uh, koi fish puzzle dilemma. If you're wondering why I'm turning around, it's because I'm recentering my mouse cursor back into the window so I don't click away from it and then lose focus. Oh no, am I really gonna fall again? I'm really gonna fall again. That animation on this puzzle piece gun, too. Actually kind of quaint. Uh, the whole thing, you know, it has good attention to detail, just strange in some of the ways that it's faltering to me. Maybe a little surprising, but I'm also just kind of like not jumping well across these. Partially my fault, too. Alright, so it's clearly giving me a hint that I want to plant vines there. And the vines actually extended higher than they even needed to. So I can't actually plant vines just anywhere. They've got to be where I'm given uh, designation. Look at that rainbow. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, and I'm going to get that bird, too. We're going to sort this out eventually. Where am I? Okay, this is an entirely new zone. I was wondering if maybe this was going to loop back around somehow, but it doesn't look to be the case. I don't know, whoever's setting up these screen areas... Oh, the music has changed. Whoever's setting up... Oh god, what? Okay, there's apparently knights. And I'm not a fan. Um, I guess we'll just have to keep trapping them in vines for now while I look for all this stuff. What exactly am I trying to do here? Are these the police? Are the police a bunch of freaking knights? 
Do I really want to cross them? What am I even doing wrong here? I'm just, I'm, I've brought, I've been brought to this world to collect puzzle bits. And something about what I'm doing is apparently immoral or unethical. Or maybe it's the police that are immoral or unethical in this case. I'm not really sure. I'm supposed to climb over- Oh, okay. A second ago, it didn't feel like I could make that jump. Oh, we got fire. It can be used to kill enemies if something is in your way. Burn it. Well, that's an awfully aggressive stance to take on this. Can I switch back if I... If I'm not maybe in the mood to flamethrower my enemies? Maybe like a more peaceful way of going about things? Like, you know, gently caressing the seagull into giving me this, uh, whatever these MacGuffins are. Oh, this is... I actually like the ivy a bit better. I guess I'm supposed to hit them directly. Well, it's nice that I don't have to worry about them just permanently staying uh, and fighting me, but at the same time, not the most effective weapon. So I've gotten some health, it looks like. I continue collecting the guffins. To what end, I wonder? Oh, it's over here. Seems like we've got a maybe a jump pad or something that... Oh, why was I getting stuck on? There's like a little bit of a curb that I couldn't walk up. That's so low, how can I not jump up that? Or walk up that, rather. So... It just seems to eat the fire. So I guess I've got to come back a little bit later once I have another tool. What if I shoot the fire onto the fire hydrant? It should, like, cause some water to come out and extinguish it or something. Can I burn this tree? I don't really want to burn the tree, but I'm just curious if I can. No. So our character seems to be quite vertically challenged because these... Like, three-inch-tall curbs are apparently a bit of a problem to jump over. I guess we'll be burning these bushes, though. There we go. That's more like it. Music is so energetic in this area, I wonder why. Is this... Is this another item? I don't know what that was. Maybe it was more health and I just didn't look at it very well. Where are we going? This feels like the, the end of the road in this direction. I understand that you want me to probably, like, make ivy here, but... How do I even do that? I don't know how to switch weapons. Did you tell me how to switch weapons before? Oh, tab. Okay, apparently tab switches weapons. You probably... The game probably told me, and I probably was just being a dingus and forgot. Uh... Okay. How about a little bit more over here? No? Is this... Is this as good as it gets? Oh. I can just jump up that one. And the other one, didn't I just walk into it and I climbed it? That's odd. Uh, so, you know, continuity is an important thing. I might have also just imagined that, and if I did, my mistake. Oh, wow. I didn't think I'd have enough velocity to make it over to that roof, but... No! Well, I botched it. Make a big old jump the other one, but not on that one. Ooh. Hello there. I'll just keep going. So I guess I want to switch back over here and, and hack this by shooting it. Getting some, like, GoldenEye 007 vibes from that. Are there dynamic shadows here? Can I walk in this and it... No, it doesn't seem to affect my puzzle piece gun in the least. Oh, hello. These remind me a little bit of the uh, card guards from American McGee's Alice. Who I took great pleasure in shredding with whatever items I was given at the time. That was a surprisingly good game that I think deserves to be remade. Uh, with some slightly better attention to detail and graphics work. There was some awkward puzzle jumping stuff things going on in that game, but I thought that the core premise of it was actually quite good. And yes, I am aware that they made a sequel to it, and it was quite bad, in my opinion. Madness Returns uh, took a totally different approach. I think the original approach on that one was a little bit more emphasized in uh, exploration, but the other one was more like a character action game, which I didn't think suited it as well. But anyway, that's enough about Alice games. I don't know how we got off on that tangent, but there we go. I picked up another little statue or something. Alright, we'll hang out in this little gazebo here. It looks like a few more options to pick up or things to pick up. And what? One more of these over here to open the door, I assume. There's also a little bit of like a jazz punk feeling going to this too, which is kind of interesting. Now what is up with this? There doesn't appear to be anything missing from it. Oh. Please try again and try to find all the trophies. 
All right, fair enough. So I was really expecting what was going to happen at some point was the first area that we walked through was going to act a little bit like a hub world. And as we found new powers or abilities or whatever it was that we were getting, we would find ways to go back and find different puzzle pieces that would allow us to fill in areas in the environment that would then open up other areas, sort of like a Banjo-Kazooie style thing. Uh, I guess, you know, Jigsaw, Puzzle, Jiggy, you know, that all kind of ties together in an interesting way. Uh, what we ended up with was a bit more like a one level of a linear shooter with a couple of uh, kind of off-kilter ability of things that we could use at certain given points. I'm not sure if I like that approach as much as I like the version that I had in my head, but I do definitely appreciate the attention to detail and the interesting graphical premise. Uh, the presentation, for the most part, was quite nice. There was just a few of those texture glitches and issues like that. Uh, getting stuck on things and discontinuity were also, you know, a factor as well. Uh, but in the, you know, the whole spirit of things, this was actually quite well done, and I would love to see a little bit more in this in the future. So I don't know if you guys feel the same way. I'd love to hear what you think, though, in the comments if you'd like to chime in. Uh, of course, as always, if you enjoyed the video, I do appreciate any likes that you'd leave on the video. It does help propagate uh, the series so more people can find about these new, interesting, artistic, and original indie games that generally don't get as much coverage as they deserve. Uh, so if you enjoyed this episode and the series in general, be sure to come on back. There's going to be a new episode of Indie Impressions, as there always is every single day, right on YouTube.com slash RockLeafSmile. So I'll see you back again for another one tomorrow. Thank you, everybody, for your continued support in the series and for continuing to watch. And I hope you have a fantastic night. Talk to you all later.